Hello everyone, welcome. Thanks for joining me for this video. For the sake of those who did not see the previous videos, a Jehovah's Witness was disfellowshipped in Canada and he took the matter to court. It reached the Supreme Court and a Jehovah's Witness lawyer lied in court that normal family relations continue when someone is disfellowshipped. I did a video, an open letter to him, not that I expect him to respond. I called his office, left a message. He was not in, he has not responded. I contacted the Bar Association of Canada or the Canadian Bar Association as they call it, as they coin it. I did not get through because I called too late. So I emailed them the following day. I called, but I wasn't sure based on the system that they have, the departments that they're sending me to. I wasn't sure exactly which department to speak with. But I did try and got voicemail for one extension. However, I wrote to the association. I have not yet had a response. Mark you, early days yet. It's just been a few days. So maybe they will respond. But I am creating this video to say something to you. We have power. We do not have to sit as spectators to evil. We can do something about it. It is said that, I don't remember who made the statement, that all that is required for evil to prevail is that good men do nothing. It is not enough for us to sit down and complain about the injustices a number of persons have committed suicide because of the, well, someone says, I shouldn't say committed suicide. A number of persons have killed themselves, taken their own lives on account of the watchtower's inhumane treatment of them. It is emotional blackmail. It is, I have one person shunning me, one, and it does not feel good. I'm trying to imagine what, what it must be like to have everybody around you, all the people that you valued all your life, cutting you off. Your mother, your father, your siblings, your relatives cutting you off. It is severe emotional trauma that people go through. And you hear it every day. And the Watchtower is presenting this to people. Tony Morris member of the governing body, basically painting this evil as good, that if you do not do it, you are not worthy of Jesus. Giving the impression it is Jesus who's instructing all of this. They're telling Jehovah's Witnesses that this is the right thing to do. This is being loyal to Jehovah. That is what Jehovah's Witnesses are being told. Yet when the matter is being examined in court, the lawyer doesn't go to court and say, this is God's provision. If we do not do it, we are not worthy of Jesus. He doesn't go to court and say, Paul stated at 1 Corinthians 5, that you should not speak with these persons. Because the organization twists the scriptures to say what Paul is not saying. Paul said you should not keep company with a brother. A brother, someone who is in the organization claiming in the church, let me get all this organization thing, someone in the church claiming to be a member of the church, claiming to be a Christian, but was sleeping with his father's wife. Paul was disappointed in the church that they have done nothing about it. He is saying you should not even be eating with that man. You should not be upholding him and making him feel as though his sin is acceptable by the church. But Paul, in the very message, made it clear that we do not judge those on the outside. 
Let God judge those on the outside. The watchtower has taken it upon themselves to be judging those on the outside. Because when the person becomes disfellowshipped, he is no longer a member of the church. And Jesus told you to treat him as the publicans and the sinners. How did Jesus treat publicans and sinners? He ministered to them. So when the person becomes a member, a member, when the person becomes expelled, becomes an outsider, I'm going to say a member on the outside. You can't be a member on the outside. When the person is no longer a member, then you cannot be judging that person. That judgment is up to God. You should be ministering to that person to get that person back in the fold. That is what Jesus meant when he speaks about leaving 99 sheep safe and going to find the one sheep that has gone astray. So the organization is twisting the scriptures. They could not, the lawyer could not go to court and twist the scriptures like that. So what does he do? Go to court and lie about what they do. And that is wrong. I don't have to sit down and be a spectator to it. The world has changed. The world is now a village. Someone in Jamaica can pick up his phone and call Canada and reach that lawyer's office in a second. And we can do something about it. And so I am inviting you. I have created a petition to the Canadian Bar Association and I'm asking you to sign that petition. I'm going to be reaching out when I am through with this video. I'm going to be reaching out to Lloyd Evans. I'm going to try. He emailed me once. I'm going to try and respond. Find his email. Contact Lloyd. Because he, he has, he has, because he has a wide audience. And so I'm going to ask him to join the fight. I'm going to ask you to post this petition at other activist web, I mean, websites or YouTube channels, encouraging them to invite their followers and viewers and readers to sign the petition as well. We can very easily get 10,000 signatures for this petition. But we will submit it as soon as it reaches a thousand. So please, the link is in the description below. We do not have to fight. I mean, what am I saying? We do not have to be spectators. We can fight. People are losing their lives. Families are being destroyed. People are being hurt. We can do something about it. We have power. And it is far more likely that the Bar Association will do something about it when there are thousands of persons who are making the appeal. And so, once again, ladies and gentlemen, the link in the description, please sign that petition. Let's reach out. Let us fight for the lives that are being lost. Let us not have these persons die in vain while the watchtower continues its evil. Thanks for watching. Again, sign that petition and take very good care of yourself. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.